G'day everyone, you're watching Andy's Fishing and Wild Cook. We're out on a two day solo adventure. Beautiful day now. I've got the crab pots, I've seen tuna, I've seen mackerel. We might hit the bays, we might hit the islands. I've got to redeem myself for myself, not, not for you guys. The last time I went out, it was a beautiful day and then the night was a terrible sleep. So I've got two, maybe three plans and depending on what the weather does, it's actually forecast to spin around and be 10 to 15. So yeah, this could be idyllic now and it could be a little bit bad later on. But first thing, we're going to drop the crab pots in, hoping for sand crabs. Um, there could be a bonus of a mud crab, but yeah, just check it out. Beautiful! <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it can be misleading having a beautiful morning like this and then, yeah, just just goes to poo later on. But I am going to stay out overnight, no matter what happens. Oh, and there's, there's some um, tuna busts up right there. In case you didn't watch my last couple of videos, I'll say it nice and early. My basics fishing course, online fishing course, is live now. It's only $67 and there's a bonus for the whole month of April. So that'll probably be this video and the next video and then the bonus will go away. So check that out. There's a link in the description below. I've tried to make it as fun and informative as possible, but it's cramming in lots of information. So my goal is to drop them in about two and a half meters of water. That way they'll be underwater the whole time. And I don't know, two, three hundred meters apart, something like that. Because I want to leave them in the same spot today and tomorrow. That's the plan, anyway. We go the crab pots are in the winds already starting to come up in here and it's it's actually blowing straight into the bay so I think the first thing we'll do is we'll head out to one of the islands and have a bit of fish around that the tides low very late this afternoon so I'm hoping for a fly fish as long as yeah it stays calm and the Sun's still high enough um, there's a couple of really good spots out here so yeah on the islands we, we're gonna have a good trip this time I, I really think so I'm very confident. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh. All right, let's get moving. Woohoo! I've just pulled up out here in the middle of nowhere to investigate the bottom. I'm just going to do, do a bit of um, sounding and see if I can find some lumps and bumps anywhere between 30 and about 20 meters of water. It's actually not that rough, so that's good. It might be a more a coastal thing. I'm probably oh, 10 k's out now, and I think the land sucks in the wind and makes it rougher in, in close. There we go. I found something. It's in 30 meters. I'm going to try and pinpoint it. It's going to be pretty hard. I think I just spent a good 20 minutes chasing a rock. And when I say chasing a rock, I mean chasing a bait ball. Every time I got close to it, it'd move. And then I'd put a new mark on the GPS, and then it'd move. And not... Yeah, it was definitely a bait ball. So, oh well. I'm going to head over to some rocks now and um, yeah, see if I can find some submerged reef. We've got current going that way and current going that way. So we're kind of on a bit of a pressure point here. There's a bit of rubble on the bottom. You can see it on the sounder. It's 10 meters deep. And we'll see, I'm just using big outfit because there's a fair bit of car in here. I'm using a, a one ounce lead just to get down there. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh shit, I forgot to set the drag. <laughs> oh, if you watch my fishing course, that that's the first thing you do when you, you start fishing. Oh. I had a couple of hits there too. Let's try that again. Yep. Got him. <laughs> About the fourth drop. 
and a little coral trout. Perfect. He's undersized, but it's the right species. Let's have a look at him. Beautiful little fish. They need to be 38 centimeters here at the moment. So we'll let this guy go. There we go. Hey, you'll be good, buddy. Go! Tell your big brother to come out. That's pretty good. We're in the right zone. Oh, that was a good hit. Yep, another touch. Come on. I oh, missed it. I think I might have lost, lost the plastic there. Too much current. Oh, what have I got? Got something. Oh, struggling with the current here and another trout. Look at that. There's a lot of current here. I'm going to have to move out of it, I think. It's good to get these little guys. They're, um, these are the ones that will turn into big trout, obviously. So I don't mind catching little coral trout. Oh, off you go. There he goes. But yeah, a little bit too much car in here. I might do one more drop. But it's a yeah, it's a real challenge. I've got to cast way up here. And then it doesn't reach the bottom till it's like over there somewhere. Don't know how well you guys can see that, but we've got nice bait ball fish down there. Yep, that's a good fish. Oh I dropped oh dropped it and got another one. Oh, Trevally's. What have we got? I mean, there was a mackerel there too. Oh, queen fish. Oh, there's my plastic. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna try and get that plastic. If I can. Okay, save the plastic and grab the rod again. Put it in the gear and back into it. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. There was some other fish with him, whether they, whether they were um, trevally or mackerel, I'm not 100% sure. Here he is. That's cool. about let's see 60 centimeters something like that i'm not going to keep this guy i just want to give you a quick look at him and he wants to go hey? off you go fish there he goes boy <laughs> i find them a little bit dry so i'm not really keen on keeping that especially first thing cool that i got the plastic back although here it's shredded oh i'm fishing upside down <sighs> a little bit of blood he'll be fine for those of you that want to know, that's the four inch prong by Atomic, a Plazos lure. And that's a three quarter jig head. Let's see if we can get something else. And I've used the same plastic. I've just, instead of using it upright, I've just turned it over and used it the other way around. That way I don't have to use another plastic just yet. And those fish must have been right on the bottom because um, yeah, I, I thought I was getting into a trout or something. Yep, and another one straight away. Oh, this one feels, I don't know, troutish, yes. Little bit bigger trout. I think he will be undersized also. Actually, we'll measure him because he'll probably go very close. Very, very close. Oh, no, he's, yeah. If I look at it like that. Oh, he is just under. About three or four mil under. We're going to let you go, buddy. Off you go. I'm confident we'll get something else today. One blue, two blue, three blue. Oh, that was a mackerel. Mackerel just followed it up. Oh, at the risk of losing it. Let's try that again. There's yeah, a good spot. Coral trout, queen fish, mackerel. Yeah, it's going off. Oh, another mackerel. <laughs> oh, 
and not quite fast enough. Yeah, oh, there's a nice take. That was on the bottom. Lots of little head shakes and another coral trout. <laughs> oh, it is so good to see so many coral trout here. Hey, beautiful fish, there you go. Plastic's a little bit, here you go. We'll reverse it. Okay, time to go again. There'll be a big one down here somewhere. Got hit again. Next. Oh, it's a little better. That definitely feels a little better. Oh, yes. That is dinner. Unless we get a crab. Nice one. <laughs> I knew I'd do it. Oh, he's a good fish. He'd go 40 something. So my call for that guy is about 42 or 3. Get the tail right on the zero there. There we go. He is actually, yep, 43. Beautiful. I might get a little glamour shot with this guy. Coral trout. <laughs> In case we end up eating him. Yeah. Woo. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to cut his throat and put him in the esky there. That is cool. Check out the teeth on that thing. <laughs> and look at the colours too. Those, those dots are just, yeah, iridescent blue. And the eyeliner. I, I do really like fish. So after that, I think I deserve a little snack. I've got dinner sorted no matter what. I'm gonna have some grapes. <laughs> Who thought I was gonna say banana? <laughs> I'm gonna have both. <laughs> oh, for all those superstitious people out there, the banana is good. <laughs> I like the banana. Oh, and the weather's holding up nicely. It's about a 10 knot breeze, but it's not getting worse. So yeah, really liking it. Mm. I do want to have a fly fish on the flats. Hopefully it's okay. But first, snack, maybe a couple more drops here. Mm, enjoying today. And I hope, oh, that's the right one, that one. I hope we get some crabs. Let's see if we can resurrect this. I think I've used it two different ways already. I might be able to go a second or third way. There's only so much you can get out of a plastic. <laughs> Doable, it's not great, but you know, the water's not that clear either. I think we'll get another trout. What do you think? Will we get another trout? I've just gone that way, I don't know, five or six meters. Oh, that was a touch. Come on, come on, another touch. Seem to be hitting it on the drop. Yep, oh, that was on the drop. That's a little one. Oh, hossa! Lots of different species here. That's why I'm getting little little bites and, and not hooking up. Because there'll be a whole school of these guys. Oh, and he's gone. I wanted to show him to you. But that was a hussar. Okay, I think I've stayed an extra three quarters of an hour and got, I don't know, I'm not even sure if I got one fish, but yeah, it's time to go. See if we can flats fly fish. So we're at the first spot, um, there's a bit of a bar here which I don't remember but hopefully we can sneak in behind, fish in there and then get out before we get stuck otherwise it'll be pretty bad. Um, if that's no good, oops, if that's no good we'll go to another island. My good friend Dave, he um, has a little business called NQ Saltwater Flies, he made these up for me. I used to tie a lot of flies but I've kind of stopped ever, ever since I started making videos I don't seem to have time for anything else but yeah Dave's a good friend and um, to be honest I mean yeah he ties nice flies but I think he wants me to fly fish in the videos more I think that's uh, might, might be a little ul ulterior motive what do you reckon Dave <laughs> uh, but yeah they're nice nice tied flies little little crab with yellow legs um, yeah, the outside is quite dark, but the inside is quite light, and that's why I've gone for a light brown. I just had a look, the tide's dropping another 40 centimetres before low. So, yeah, I don't want to get stuck in there. And if you want to see more fly fishing, or you like the fly fish that I'm doing, drop a, uh, a like in the comments. Actually, just make, make a comment. I don't, I don't know what this means. This, this could mean I, you like my, the colour of my shirt. 
you know um, yeah so leave a comment if you want to see more fly fishing get our eyes on it's quite deep here probably meter 1.2 meters deep here and yeah there's a little tiny gutter here where I'm hoping I can squeeze through and then I'm hoping I can squeeze through the other end as well but that's not guaranteed I think we're just squeezing through I did see a fish here but I'm, I'm more concerned about getting in here oh there's a turtle it's gonna come right at us come here mr. turtle here he is boy boy <laughs> he's seen us all right we're in now we have to get back out again I did see a fish about that long just here but I just wanted to get in here first oh I just missed something there I was looking over this side so it is really shallow like that there's probably five ten centimeters deep um yeah i don't know if this is a wise move i'm hoping for golden trevally giant trevally tusk fish oh hang on what's that there is that a fish let's have a look at him just there um what else was i going to say tusk fish oh, i can't remember what i was going to say oh yeah harry hot lips it's almost too shallow in here it's definitely very shallow yeah that's yeah literally three centimeters of water there hmm this is getting very sketchy here we've got probably just over a foot of water and there's lots of coral everywhere there goes a fish just then there's a green one not the one we're after but yeah very bright colored amazingly colored they're a parrot fish they um they eat coral uh, let's see oh there's another one two more there's probably a, yeah, a school of them here. See these guys here? They're slightly different green color to the ones we're after. Um, it's getting, yeah, very sketchy. <laughs> oh, it wasn't the best plan. Mm, but yeah, most of this is live coral, which is really cool to see. So there's a couple of places we can still fly fish. Um, the next island and then maybe, maybe even the bay where we started, although with the wind the way it is, it's probably gonna be dirty, but we'll give it a shot. Here we are at the next big flat. This one actually looks really nice. It's, it's very big and I've already seen three or four. Um, yeah, interesting fish. <laughs> um, some people will know what this means. <laughs> okay, we made it out. We came from that far corner there. Came all the way through here. Haven't seen anything decent. It is, it is actually really shallow, this water. So I'm just gonna poke along here a little bit, but then I think we'll go to the next island. Oh, that rock is really shallow there. Look at that. Once again, it's really shallow here. There's, um, there's enough water for the boat, but the weed comes right up to the surface. So, yeah, I might have to wait till the tide starts coming in a bit and then get up on top there. Although it might be a bit dark by then. We'll see. If not today, um, and the weather holds out, I plan on doing some quite a bit of fly fishing exploring tomorrow. There's a lot of stingrays and turtles here. Haven't seen any decent fish yet. Oh, and there's one right here. There's another one. I've just run aground trying to get out here. So I searched for a little while, but the tide's just too low. We're um, this much probably about 10 15 minutes from the low so then in half an hour it'll start coming in again i'm just going to have a muesli bar and put up the drone get a bit of drone footage it is a little bit windy but it should be okay so beware of the smart devices this here is pretty much useless on this trip because this here decided to unload my app and I can't use that without this. It's a real pain in the ass. Um, I've got no phone reception here. So, and it's the only app. Yeah, it's the only app that's been offloaded. It's like, hello. So, we're going to sit here for the next 30 minutes, 40 minutes, just enjoying the breeze, watching the stingray swim around the boat and waiting for the tide to come in because there's nothing else I can do. <sighs> oh well. So as you can see, we're actually stuck now and the land, 
the dry land is getting closer and closer and closer. <laughs> Oh, I need to do something to amuse my my mind. After sitting here for, I don't know, 15 minutes, I re realized I've got a fake drone. Okay, bye-bye fake drone. How was that? Hopefully that gave you a little bit of a look around. No doubt the audio on this is going to be terrible as well. But that's what i got to work with. I'm glad I didn't go any shallow with the crab pots. We've got 0.4 of a metre at the back of the boat and the tide's already come in a bit so I think that was perfect. <sighs> Let's see, let's hope we got some crabs. We have nothing. Leave it there. You can see how shallow it is here. Oh, what have we got? Oh, we've got a big buck. Woohoo, we're eating well tonight. That is a big crab. Yeah, he looks pretty full. He's got slight brown marks on him. Come on, down you go buddy. There he is. Oh that's so good. Okay. Oh he's a good crab. Yep and he's feisty as well. Oh ho, ho, mud crab. Oh we'll measure him. Oh. But yeah, he's um, dare say he's going to be full. Yep, he feels full. Usually when they're they're feisty, they're full. Oh, that is so good. Okay, let's see. It's point to point on these. Oh, look at that. He's at least two centimeters over. Oh, perfect. You are going to be tasty tonight. I'm not sure we're going to get this guy in the in the frame there. That is a monster! <laughs> oh, so cool! I have to get it. Had to get a glamour shot with this guy. Look at that! Actually, that's that's dangerous there. <laughs> he can he can whack me in the face there. Look at that! That is a good crab. Oh, I'm going to put him in the esky, and um, hopefully he'll go to sleep. Oh, a bit of damage there, but other than that. Really nice, really nice crab. Oh, all the legs. I love love it when they got all the legs because the legs is the tastiest part. Oh, I'm gonna eat him. Put him under the ice. There we go. <laughs> Have I told you I'm excited? That is so good. Oh, after after the first one, I thought, nah, it's gonna be another no crab night but yeah two more pots let's go so it's taking a little bit longer than i thought to get these crab pots i had hoped to do a little bit of fishing around the edges here but we've only got less than an hour of sunlight and i'm having to go real slow because it is 0.5 here and i've still got like another 400 meters to go to get to the crab pot bit of a challenge nah it's not a challenge it just means Take it slow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need any more crabs in the other ones. If I get another one, I'll take it home. But I think others I might I might let go. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not counting chickens before they hatch. Boy, are we getting shallow. That's point 0.2. I think we might even hit point 0.1. Actually, we're hitting bottom there. Damn it. The pot's just in front of me. I've only got five meters to go. Yeah, we're definitely touching bottom there. Oh, let me at it. Oh. There we go. And we have another one. Woo. Beautiful. He looks legal as well. That is cool. 
Oh, oh, oh. We'll definitely take him. I just want to keep my boat dry. So good. You just go into the corner like the other one. Be nice and behaved. Come on. Let go. There you go. No, don't go down this way. Throw the pot in and get the crab. Oh, he's a good crab too. Let's have a look at him left-handed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I might even eat this one tonight. He's actually got nice claws. Little brown mark here. Oh, beautiful. So cool. Let's see. Yeah, he's also at least two centimeters oversize. Perfect. Woohoo! Actually, we might have to tie this one up. Nah, we'll just chuck him in. Hopefully we'll just go straight. Oh, there's a usually bar. Go straight into the corner and go to sleep. Get out of here. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Just digging up a little bit of sand. But that's alright. Still at no, he's actually not even reading now, so it's probably yeah, probably that much water. Okay, last pot. So far, this has been a great trip. The weather's been perfect. We've fished blue water, we've got mud crab, and I mean, it's a little wavy in here, like it, it is bouncing around and slapping on the, on the boat, but I think we're gonna have a good night's sleep. Um, the last trip I went out, the last two episodes, that was probably the worst night's sleep I've ever had on a boat, ever. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, I can I can tuck a little bit into the corner here because it is actually the, the winds coming straight into this bay I did have a plan C or B or something, but that involves driving a lot further and I don't know if I've got enough fuel for that So I really wanted to check the crabs now, which yeah two crabs Woo -hoo! Oh, Yeah, I've had a lot of bad luck crabbing and <laughs> It just feels so good <laughs> and they're gonna be so tasty Okay, last pot. Regardless of what I have in this one, I don't suck at crabbing anymore. <laughs> oh, blue swimmer. We're gonna let you go, buddy. One little blue swimmer. Actually, we'll just leave him in there. Saves getting the boat more wet. Let's see, yeah, 45 minutes before sunset. So chance of um, eating before dark, about 80%. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna find somewhere in here that's a little bit more sheltered, anchor up, and then yeah, start cooking. I want to tuck in as close to shore as possible, but I need about a meter of water at the moment so that I don't, um, yeah, four o'clock in the morning's low tide. And I don't want to be on my side on the mud flats at four in the morning. That would be terrible. So I think about a metre, maybe a little bit more. That would be good. We're sort of getting out of the wind here a little bit. That's, um, yeah, unless yeah, unless the wind starts coming from that, that side at night, we should um, have a beautiful night. Oh, it feels so good. I don't know why I don't come out here more often. I should come out here more often. Uh, write a comment down below if you think I should come here more often. That's it. Home sweet home for the night. Oh, feels good. Found a spot with um, 1.2 meters. Where's the sun? Slight ripples here, but yeah. Actually, I can hear, um, I think, pigeons and rainbow bee eaters, little birds, They're chirping around. They're going whoop, whoop, whoop. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I think I will have a quick shower before I start cooking. At least half an hour before sun goes down, so. Now, I don't care what anybody's told you. There is no soap 
anywhere that is safe or should be used in salt water, creeks, dams, lakes, anywhere that where yeah fish want to survive. Um, yeah, soap is made with chemicals and it doesn't belong in water. So I just rinse with plain water and while I'm doing that, I'm actually sitting on my shirt and give that a nice rinse. So I actually forgot my second shirt. Um, so yeah, that'll that'll dry out overnight and hopefully I've got a nice dry shirt in the morning. Oh, but yeah, so good having a little shower. <laughs> Yeah, half an hour. Yeah, I reckon I reckon we will actually cook and eat before it's completely dark. The sun will probably go down by the time I eat. Um, the crab will take 10 to 12 minutes, I think. Anyway, I've got to clean it yet, but we'll, I'll show you that in a second. Thought I'd be a little fancy today and have a little table. <laughs> Perfect. I need my big pot for this one. There we go. Nice big pot. Woo! I'm gonna use half salt water, half fresh water. So I'm definitely not gonna cook before sundown, but I'm sure it'll be finished before sunset. That that sun is oh, a quarter still left, just this the top top little bit. But oh, it's feeling so nice. We've got a little bit of a little bit of light still left on the mountains there. Such a such a cool spot and nice weather. Um, when the weather's bad, everything's just bad. I've heard a lot of fish splashing around. Actually, let me. I've got to clean that crab, otherwise we're we're gonna eat in the dark again. Now, one thing I will say is be careful with gas on a boat. I've um, turned off the breathers and the fuel tanks so there's no like even if something catches fire it's not going to explode gas bottle's got to be upright um, just be really careful with fire on boats it's um not something you want to trifle with now let's see i reckon he's probably yeah he's still quite active oh, i've got to get him out of there i should have tied him up should have tied him up I'm not sure I can do this with one hand. Oh, and the other one's still moving too, so it doesn't matter which crab I eat. This is the easy one. Get out! Almost got me there. And it's one heck of a big crab. Look at the size of his nippers. That is cool. I, um, I've shoved a, a knife down into his brain. So those are just nerves moving around there. Hopefully I can get his carapace off without too much drama. And this kills him really quick. There we go. So his brain's in the shell here. And you can see the, the body's still moving around. It's it's just nerves. He's actually dead. So I might just wait for him to stop moving or he'll bite me. Get rid of these. There are his gills. I'll show you something interesting. These things in here, these little worm looking things, they're actually barnacles. They grow inside the gills of crabs, which I thought was really cool when I found out. And to fit him in the pot, I'm going to break him in half, which is you pull him together and then break him open like that. There we go. Then we got two halves of crab. Give him a little wash over the side. Just check out the size of these claws, and I don't know if you can see that, but they're really purple. I don't know if it's coming through. Yeah, it's, sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're green. These ones are like, yeah, really, really purple. I'm not quite sure if that's yeah, showing up in there. Ooh, nice crab. Got a good boil going on there, and claw down is the way I'm cooking it. Claw's the one that's gonna take the longest to cook. There we go. While the crab steams away, I think that's got about five, min five six minutes to go. I'm gonna make a green pawpaw salad with a twist. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty sure I can do this before it gets dark. <laughs> it's, it's after sunset, but 
I'm just going to chop up a um, nice big fat clove of garlic. Um, dice it actually. So nice, nice and small. Oh, I should have brought um, cilantro or Thai coriander out of my garden. Having said that, actually, um, both of these out of Mum's garden. So thank you, Mum. Using the produce well. These are yeah, the garlic's quite quite lumpy. It's going to add a nice kick every now and then. The chili I'm going to top and tail and take out uh, most of the seeds, not all the seeds. It'll still get a bit of heat from a few seeds. You can use chili just for the flavour. It doesn't have to be just for spice. Now the pawpaw should be quite green. Yep, looks pretty green to me. I am taking the skin off. Let me know if you can eat the skin. I've, I've never eaten the skin, but it may be fine. Who knows? We want to chop that into very thin slivers because it is actually quite tough vegetable. Tell you what, that crab must be getting close. I know that cooking drags on sometimes, but this is going to be very quick. I think 12 minutes from start to finish. Well, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Did I mention I'm so excited I got crabs? <laughs> oh, it's so good. And then something unexpected, a nectarine. Don't know how that's going to go. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. But I feel like throwing it in there. So it's going in. I've cut it heaps down this way and then I'll do one around the outside. Oh, that's the crab. And then we can twist it off and we get all these nice little pieces. It's pretty cool. Look at that, it hasn't gone down yet. And we're turning the crab off. I'll have a quick sticky beak. It's looking yummy. All steaming up the camera. <laughs> Oh, I'm just gonna let that cool down a little bit before I try and eat it. Let's have a look in my box of goodies to see how we're gonna finish this um, salad off. Ooh, we've got fish sauce. Yep, some of that. And there should be some, yep, soy sauce. Fish sauce, soy sauce. Giving that a nice little mix around. And to be honest, I actually like the, um, the light now for cooking and filming compared to really, really bright bright sunshine whoops that's enough of that and a little of that <laughs> all righty give it another mix around mm -mm. i um yeah i've made pawpaw salad a couple of times green pawpaw salad um but to be honest it's different every time <laughs> So, no idea what this is going to be like, but it really doesn't matter. It's just to accompany the crab. <laughs> oh, if you haven't noticed, I really like crab. Oh, mm, actually, you've got to have a taste. Let's see, a bit of pawpaw. Mmm, nice tang, crunch. A bit of nectarine, pawpaw, and chili. Mmm, yep, really fresh. All right, let's have a look at that crab. I don't think I've got anything big enough to put this crab on. It's, um, yeah, there's quite a bit of it. Let's see if I can balance it on this, on this plate. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, there we go, it barely fits on the plate. Check out the size of that claw. And it does look like it's full of meat. <laughs> oh, it's still very hot, but I'm going to start eating that. I think I've made it just before it's dark. <laughs> oh. Oh, let's see this crab. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so sweet. Mm, I like to start with the legs and the flippers, because that is the sweetest meat. Mmm. Mm, every little join, like that little tiny join, full of meat. Oh, it's so good. 
It is so good. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all of this tonight. Look at that. <laughs> mm. Oh, I have missed crab. Mm. Even just that little, little joy in there. Fish jumping there. Mm. Oh, and this is recycling its best. Caught him over there, cooked him here, and distributing his mm, ashes <laughs> in the water. Mm. Let's see if we can get some of this body meat out. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Still got a bit of shell on it. Sometimes they pop out nice and easily. But... We're going to eat most of that in one go, hopefully. Oh, there's, there's the swimmer muscle. Hang on. There it is. Pop it out. Look at that. That is swimmer muscle. Oh, it's hot. Oh. For all those people that don't like me groaning, <laughs> too bad. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, wow. Mm. So I was actually after um, sand crabs, but I'm not complaining. Sweat, sand crabs are sweeter than these. This this is actually really sweet. Um, but yeah, mud crab, a lot more meat. Mm. Mm. Oh, little fish right in front of the boat. Oh, so good. I think I will put the light out tonight just to see what's going on. The water seems yeah, not super clear, but there will be stuff that comes to the light. Mm, let's have a bit more of this stuff here. Let's see, let's see if it goes together. It goes well together. Yeah, actually it goes really well together. Spice and the bite from the garlic, definitely coming through there. But the freshness of the pawpaw and the um, nectarine, it's like it cleanses the palate for the crab. Crab can be um, yeah, really quite heavy. Oh, but this thing is so full. Save that bit for later. There it is. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Sorry about <laughs> carrying on like that. I'm going to finish my dinner as the sun, well, the sun's gone. But as the last light disappears, this is probably going to take me, I don't know, 20 minutes. I'm going to take it nice and slow, eat whatever I can, keep, um, keep the rest of it in the esky for tomorrow. Mm, actually, there's an idea for breakfast. Ooh, never done that before. Ah, so good, so good. Mm. For those of you that haven't seen my videos before, this is a tunnel tent. I've got some fairy lights in here. And it occurred to me, I'm actually, I think I'm on the wrong, I'm on the right side of the bay. It's very quiet here. Can't hear a thing. But what I can hear is, it sounds a bit like wind, but I think it's waves on the other side of the bay. So, yeah. If the wind swings around, obviously it's gonna gonna come over here. But the cool thing, I've had the night light out for a while now. Straight away, a squid came and ate something which I couldn't film. But there's all these little, like herring-looking things. They darting around, eating things. Uh, there's a little prawn cruising around, and a long tom which I tried to film for ages, and then I finally got him. And he actually, oh, hang on, he's a squid right now. Right there, there's a squid. I think it's a squid. It might be a cuttlefish. No, I think it's a squid. Oh, he just ate something then. See that? I think he got it. Oh, there you go, and another one. It's actually, oh, and another one. <laughs> he's going off. He's not real big. He's only like 10 centimeters long, if that. But yeah, it's been really, really interesting tonight. The, um, as I was saying, the long tom, he actually ate a fish. Uh, yeah, and I, I tried to film him and yeah, see what happens.
<laughs> Got too close to the boat. Prawn that was swimming around, I just managed to catch it. Look at that. Little guy, eh? <laughs> I'm letting him go. Off you go. There he is. That's a bit better. I've got a <laughs> got a torch here now. So you can see the, the tunnel tent there. I've got my mattress. I can still access the anchor through the front there, which is cool. And I've got my dryer set up. That's my dryer there. It's just you <laughs> just putting the shirt through a, a string. So yeah, it's been really quite a nice evening and yeah quite well, that, that light is way too bright but whilst i've been sitting here um i've been hearing mangrove jack and barramundi they have a distinctive like pop sound you can you can hear the um the way they feed so in the morning i want to actually i'm going to turn this light off it's really really too bright so in the morning i plan on having a fish around the bay here I don't know if I can film it, but that's an eerie kanji right there. Right at the end of my finger there. Oh, I don't know if I can get the torch quick enough. I'll see if I can get the torch, but that's definitely an eerie kanji jellyfish. Get stung by that and you're in hospital for two weeks. Yeah, there you go. Look, you can see him really well there. No, I'm not going to get him. Oh, hang on. Here's another one. There's a couple of them around. That's him right there. Uh. Going through the light. That's a bit of a worry. Eric Kanji jellyfish in here. If they whack you, you go to hospital for two weeks, and yeah, it's really, really bad. They're related to the box jellyfish, and they're literally as big as your end of your finger there. So, yeah, I've seen a couple now. It's probably the third or fourth one I've I've seen. So yeah, gotta watch out for them. Anyway, I think that'll be it for me. Um, yeah, if you don't see anything else, I've had a, well, <laughs> I don't know whether I have a good night's sleep or a bad night's sleep, but right now, it's very, very quiet. And I hope it stays that way. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. If you're still here, I've picked out a special video just for you. Check it out.